Okay, here I'm going to disassemble a pump action shotgun. Uh, this happens to be a Mossberg Model 500 that I have, I forget, whatever modification here on the rear. Um, front end assembly didn't come with the right equipment to put it on, so I now have a mixture of my nice pretty wood grain and this high speed nifty uh, rear collapsible stock. Anyway. We're going to show how to disassemble this uh, this shotgun uh, for uh, for cleaning. This can work with uh, probably the Remington pump actions. I would imagine um, most any pump action shotgun. This should be should be an effective method. I don't know for certain, so I could be wrong. There's your caveat. Don't crucify me. All right. Step one: weapon in a safe direction. Weapon on safe. In this case, I have a, a rear receiver mounted safety that slides up and back, as you can see here. Um, red means dead. In this case, we're on safe. Okay. Next, we need to empty the magazine. If you looked at my other video where I dropped the magazine first out of a uh, semi automatic handgun, uh, same concept still applies here. You want to get the magazine empty. In this case, this is what's called a tube, tube or tubular magazine. Don't pay attention to this mark here. That is uh, shortly after I got this firearm when I was, uh, I don't know, 15 or 16. It fell from where it was sitting, hit against the family's uh, piano and dented this uh, forever, making me sad. Uh, but I now have a full memory as to how and where that came from. Back to the, uh, back to the gun. We have a tubular magazine here. This one happens to be five shell capacity. Um, and I'm going to show you how to unload it. Here in the loading unloading port of the shotgun, all you can see here is the follower, uh, which is the end of a, on a spring that goes down in this tube. If I had an actual shell in here on this, left side of the firearm, just inside of it, there's a little metal spring that pushes back just in front of my finger here, and that depresses. And what, when you depress this, if there is a shell here, the shell is going to come loose and it's going to come towards your finger. So, a little piece of advice, uh, ask me how I learned this the hard way, push in a little bit on the shell and push back and then push down on this little retaining clip, uh, spring load retaining clip, and then ease the shell out. The shell will come out, dump the shell. Repeat the process until you get all, all your ammunition out of the tube. Make sure you're just left with the nifty little follower. Okay. Now you want to make sure that your chamber is empty. So, again, weapon in a safe direction. Rack your shotgun backwards. Make sure you can look down inside the uh, the chamber. Actually reach your finger in there. Make sure it's, make sure that thing's empty. Okay. And now you're ready for the final step of disassembly for cleaning. I like to actually take the barrel off this shotgun. You don't always have to do that, um, but I like to, if I can separate the barrel from the receiver, I like to do that. Uh, just so it can make cleaning easier. With this shotgun, disassembly occurs here. Little knurled nub here just screws off. Now, notice I still have my shotgun action open. Uh, reason for that is when this closes, it actually locks in on where the barrel uh, attaches to the receiver. So, actions to the rear. Unscrew, pull up, and off comes the barrel. I now have the ability to swab and clean this barrel to my heart's content, and I can get good access to the receiver front face of the uh, of the bolt, uh, the loading mechanism, everything here. Now there are additional takedown steps you could do to fully take apart the, the slide here to get the bolt completely out of the receiver. Um, 
you can do that if it's particularly dirty. I don't, normally that, that doesn't become the case because this fires from a closed position and minimal amount of uh, gas and carbon blows back into the receiver. So uh, how much you have to actually tear this apart to clean minimal, as long as you're really careful with how you clean. Okay, reassemblies in reverse order.